Hey guys, this is kind of a weird problem. We've got, we're looking for, to compare the number of atoms in a gold ring compared to the number of atoms in a silver ring, but with the same masses for each object. So the problem doesn't give us any information aside from the mass of the ring. So we kind of have to use a periodic table to look up additional information. So let's first start off by, by finding the number of atoms in the gold ring. So the number of atoms in the gold ring. And gold is represented on the periodic table as AU. So the number of atoms in an object, especially if it's a pure substance, can be found by taking the mass of that object and dividing it by the mass of one atom. So in this case, it's, the ma it's a mass of uh, 27.5 grams. We want this in kilograms. So that's 2.75 times 10 to the power of negative 2 kilograms. And we divide by the mass of a single gold atom. So according to the periodic table, a gold atom, one gold atom, has a mass of 196.96655 atomic mass units per atom. And then in order to get this to work out in our calculations, we need to convert this from atomic mass units into kilograms. So we multiply this by 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms per atomic mass unit. And if we put this into a calculator, then we find a number of atoms of about 107.86 Eight, two. Now let's do the same thing for silver. So the number of atoms in silver, and on a periodic table, the symbol for silver is AG. Yeah, kind of weird that neither of them are anything like the names of the substance. I don't know what that's all about. But same mass, 2.75 times 10 to the power of negative 2 kilograms, and then we divide by the mass of one silver atom. So again, using the same principle we did for the gold one, that's, uh, so the mass of one, so, so the mass of a single atom of silver is 107.8682 atomic mass units per atom. And then again, multiply, we got to convert from atomic mass units into kilograms. So 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms per atomic mass unit. Put this into a calculator, and this is a number of atoms of an 196.96655. So now we know the number of atoms in each. The problem is asking how do they compare. So let's take a fraction. Let's take the number of gold atoms and divide it by the number of silver atoms. So that's 107.8682 divided by 196. 196.96655. Put this into a calculator, and this is a fraction of 0.548. So that means that the number of gold atoms is equal to 0 0.548 times the number of silver atoms. So about half. And that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that will help me out in making more videos like this one. If you have a question or a comment, just leave a comment down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.